Welcome everybody to Rapture Watch. It is the 22nd of August 2018. Watchman on the Wall William from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And I hope all of you guys are having a blessed day in the Lord. And today we are going to be dunging some trees for the Lord. And I pray that everyone who regularly listens to this, who um, comes here for encouragement and strength, that you will join in me in prayer in Jesus' name, that we will come into agreement in Jesus' name, that we are going to dung some trees today. And some of you may understand what I'm saying, and some of you may not. And what I mean is I am praying for the trees out there who I believe um, are needing to be fertilized in order to produce fruit. And I believe that these are trees that think they know the Lord, who think they are saved, but are actually not. They are dead. And I believe that they will be in for a nasty surprise once the rapture happens. And so I want to... Um, put this out there for you guys to pray upon, to um, to uh, give me any kind of um, help in this way, whether I am uh, possibly wrong in this area, but mostly I wish to uh, pray for those of you out there who may be listening to this and uh, do not believe in the preacher, perhaps you're who absolutely um, does not um, who does not like people like me or other watchmen and who who say all kinds of horrible nasty things um, I'm praying for all of these people and I want all of us to pray for them as well because I do believe that um, the Lord is showing us through Scripture that there are some trees, and we know that trees represent people in Scripture, and the Lord talks about a man who is going to cut down a tree, and uh, the Lord of that this house was going to cut down this tree, and uh, the servant asked, please let me dung it at the roots, and if it does not grow fruit in the next year, then let then let I will cut it down, but let me at least try and dung it, and, and so that's what I believe that we can do today, is the Lord is ready to cut down some trees, and we, as believers in the, the true and living God who has indwelt with the Holy Spirit, who knows his peace, who understands him, who walks with him and has a relationship, a true living relationship with him, we must pray for these people who think they know him and are deceived. And so what I want to bring to you is a scripture out of the book of Revelation. And last time we talked about the first church that was doing all kinds of good works, who is uh, rebuking evil, calling out evil with righteous indignance, you know, who were, was truly calling out the evil around them, but they left their first love. And they weren't having the first, they weren't doing the first works. And I believe that is loving God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and loving others as yourself. And when you're doing the first works, those two things, everything else, um, you know, falls into place. But if you're not doing that and you're not walking with the Lord, but you are. Um, heartlessly rebuking others and doing other things, you're not truly showing your heart for the Lord. And I believe the same could be said about the church of Sardis. Um, because God says, 
And unto the angel of the church of Sardis write these things, saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, I know thy works, and that thou hast a name that livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come upon thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Okay, we must watch. So all of you guys who are rebuking watchmen for sounding the alarm that the Lord is coming back and people need to repent and change their mind about Jesus Christ and come to him and accept the gift of salvation, that is what we're doing. We're not doing anything other than what the Lord has told us to do. We are told to watch and pray always that we are counted worthy to escape all that is about to come. And so the Lord says here to watch. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent, therefore I sh thou shalt not watch. I will come upon thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know the hour that I will come upon thee. So that implies that if we're watching, we're going to know the hour. We're going to know the hour, apparently, from the scripture, if we're watching. But there's many people out there that aren't watching. And I'm not a date setter or an hour setter, okay? But what I do know is that the Lord is coming and the signs and the prophecies are coming to pass. We're watching these things happen that were predicted more than 2,000 years ago. We are watching things happen that can't be explained by science or anything else. For all of you atheists and scientists out there, try to explain the perfection of prophecy. The Lord says that he declares the end from the beginning. So we can understand a lot of the end times by Genesis. So I encourage a lot of you to look over Genesis and Exodus, um, also um, looking into uh, Numbers chapter 10. They talk a lot about trumpets and how trumpets sounds, and uh, I believe that there's a tie in there with the last trump and how things happen. I haven't fully uh, got all the meat of that, but I'm working on that. Um, the Lord has um, kind of showed me that pathway. And we see things through um, a very dim uh, mirror. And so we can't all have the answers. But what we do know is that things are happening at a rapid pace. And we must pray for these people who, who need to have that... Um, spiritual wake-up call. So I, I pray today that we can dung some trees, that we can help the roots produce fruit for the Lord. And I pray for all the lost out there, the ones who think they know the Lord and the ones that don't know the Lord at all. Let's all come into agreement that all of these people reevaluate the way that they understand the Lord Jesus Christ, how they think, how let's pray for the Holy Spirit to, to do a good work and to complete 
the work because we know that the Lord is the author and the finisher of our faith, that he calls, the Father calls all to the Son. And so let's pray for all of those who are in error to come to the Lord in Jesus' name. And I want all of you who are watchmen to know that you're doing a good job to keep going. Don't give up no matter what Satan throws your way, that you have the victory in Christ and no weapon formed against us shall ever prosper. And Jesus Christ's name is above every other name. If you are ever under attack, under any circumstances, anxiety, anything that happens in your life that is not of God, that is not of peace, you can command it in Jesus' name to depart from you. And so many of us do not realize the spiritual world and how we are constantly being attacked. And we have the authority in Christ to um, evict anything around us and to uh, be free of, of all things because we have the authority. Of course, Paul you know, he said that there was uh, a thorn in his flesh that the Lord would not remove and that his grace was sufficient. And through his weakness, he's glorified. And, and um, so we don't know if that was just for Paul and maybe all of us have a thorn in the flesh, meaning the sin nature is always going to be there until we're glorified. And that could be the thorn. But um, I just want you guys to know that there's so many out there who will attack you and ridicule you and say things that are really harsh, but let's remember where we were at one time. Let's have the grace and pray for them because uh, nobody needs to be deserves to go to hell. It was created for Satan and his angels. The Lord does not want none of them to perish. We know in his word that Jesus came to save all of them, all of the people who are going to be going to hell. We don't know who they are. Only the Lord knows. So let's keep doing the first works in loving the Lord, talking to him daily, seeking him in prayer, let us love others and, and show the love of Christ, even if we've been burned a million times. Let's keep showing uh, the heart of Christ. And let's pray for the ones who are rebuking us. And if we are being rebuked, then that means we're doing our job. We're doing, we're doing all we can. So I know that this has been a longer message. Um, and I'm going to try and do shorter messages. Um, but I just want to say thank you to everybody who continues to watch these and leave comments and share. Um, I truly love every single one of you and all of you guys who, who come on here and, and, uh, and take part. It means a lot to me. And I know that all of you who are alone in your part of the world, wherever you are, um, you may physically feel alone, but you're spiritually never alone. The Lord is always with you, and we are all together, seated in heavenly places, and we are together. We are one in Christ. So I want you guys to take comfort in that and know that you're never alone, that we're always together. And I love all of you guys, and um, I don't, I don't want any of these people who uh, who say harsh things that do hurt all of us to go to hell. I hope that we can do our best to dung the trees and and bring some more trees to life because I feel like. The Lord had mercy on me and uh, helped me and gave me a tremendous chance that I will never forget. And I will continue always to do what I can. And uh, I know you guys will too. So that's going to do it for today's message. I love you guys. 
And if I don't see you in the clouds tonight, I'll have another message for you very soon. Peace be with you.